All right, so somebody asked me this online. I wanted to get your perspective, mm -hmm. and then I'll share mine. But um, what do you think about the Black Lives Movement? Black Lives Movement? To be honest, I'm not as educated as most people on the street are, but from what I do know and what I see, like, I support it. You know, people identifying, like, all right, you get people getting shot in the street, and it's like, hey, you know, you need to do something about it. So being vocal, I, I support that. But to just say just Black Lives Matter, that's kind of like, you know, putting things in a box. Like, all lives truly matter. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a dog, a cat, man, woman. It's like saying, oh, well, women's lives matter. You know, and you identify with that, which women's lives do matter. But, you know, you can't just say just women. Just like you can't say just Black Lives Matter. That, that's how I feel about it. I mean, I support it. I, I like the unity that I'm seeing. So it's really tragic just that the things that have made this group come together. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, how do you feel about it? I mean, I see, I, I obviously agree with that perspective too. Um, Banks said the same thing in the other video yesterday, but I didn't post it. He's like, you know, it's all lives matter, not just black lives. Right. You know? um, but I think it's kind of coming... It's like they, they needed some type of focus in order to bring the group together. Because mm -hmm. if they say all lives matter, then it's going to be hard to bring a group to, together to protest. But I guess what's happening is the majority of the deaths that are occurring from police corruption happen to be blacks. Right. You know? And because there's so many, that's why they're targeting like Black Lives Matter. Because they're, they're trying to, in a way, they're kind of protesting against p police corruption. Right. That's going on currently. Um, sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, you know, how come it doesn't say Chinese lives matter? <laughs> <You know? Right. laughs> but, but at the same time, it's like the Chinese are not, there are not that many Chinese people in America to begin with. And the ones that are here are not, be, the majority of them are not being um, victims of police corruption like the right. blacks are. Not on that level. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think to me, it's like the people in power, um, the authority, it's not necessarily that they're all white, but there's people that are in power, and then they could corrupt this power, and then what ends up happening is you got like a lot of minorities in general that are being victims to this corruption, and then the black movement is pretty much representing that rebellion against the corruption. Right. You know, because I mean, I saw a video actually, and I should try to find it again and repost it or just comment on it. But there's a video, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like three Hispanic people that were like outside of a restaurant and somebody in the restaurant called and said, oh, you know, these people need help with their bicycle. Okay. They actually own the bicycle. Or, but then the police ended up saying, thinking that they're robbing, stealing the bikes. Mm -hmm. So then they're out there by the bikes and then basically the police had the guns drawn and then guys had their hands up and then one of the guys just kind of puts his hands down and he gets shot and killed right there and he's Hispanic right but it didn't get worldwide attention like you know with the, all these uh, killings that are occurring with the blacks right and that's I think that's a, a huge issue is like how come that didn't get any focus you know no you're absolutely right I mean it's like and not it's like but I mean that's that's clear injustice there's in like you said they're Hispanic it's like why why the police assume that they were robbing the place or trying to you know steal the bicycles that were clearly theirs and then one of the guys got shot on was he killed was he yeah he was killed yeah he was killed just based off that and like you said they don't get any press so I mean I see that viewpoint too is like hey you know who's speaking out for them and maybe that's why, like, with the Black Lives Matter thing, I support it because, like, like I said, it's like, man, they being vocal. Like, all right, you know, we're fighting you back with words. Same thing with the Civil Rights Movement or anything before it. And it's like, well, yeah, I mean, that's great, but there's so much other injustice outside of just blacks to where that needs to be spoken on, too. So, I mean, I, I see the other perspective, like, hey, man, like, like I said, I mean, yeah, black lives matter, but lives matter in general. Like, you yeah. can't say that you're against violence, but some violence is okay. It's either you, I wouldn't say this gray area, but it's like, hey, man, like, <laughs> you can't just be like, all right, well, black lives matter. And when you say that, that kind of, like, rules other people out, like, other lives don't matter. <laughs> you know, yeah. it kind of separates people. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, because then you question, well, what about Hispanic lives? What about Asian lives? Exactly. And then, and then there's some of these uh, police officers that ended up getting ambushed and killed. Like, you know, some couple of New York police officers, after the whole protesting went on, somebody executed two police officers, you know. And then police were saying, well, what about police lives matter? They you do. Know, so then, so they, then do. They, they say that too. But my, but I, when I think about it, I'm like, the Black Lives Matter movement, it almost could be representing, like, all minorities. Like, even though I'm not black, I identify with, basically, you know, the injustices that, that occur against minorities. Right. And it just so happens that the blacks are the largest group of minorities in America that actually speak up. Right. You know, there might be more Hispanics. I'm not, I don't know about the numbers of the population. There might be more Hispanics than blacks. But the blacks are the ones that speak up. Right. They, the blacks speak up over the Hispanics, over the Asians, clearly. Right out of all the minority groups. Right. So they're pretty much taking the stand. I mean, look at Martin Luther King Jr., look at Malcolm X. They are black. Right. And they spoke up. Right. And that's why it's Black Lives Matter, and it's not Hispanic Lives Matter, it's not Chinese Lives Matter, because the blacks are the ones that are making the effort to speak up to, to, against this corruption. Right. But their efforts in speaking up against it, in a way, could trickle down to benefit all the other minority groups. Because it could help the, the Asians, it could help the Hispanics, it could help the women. Just yeah. basically, just in general, the people that get, the minorities that end up getting discriminated against, that movement in its way, almost representing, like, against the corruption, you know, of the people in power against the minorities. Right. You know, I mean, I can see it from that perspective, but it has to look, you have to look deeper into it. I know? mean, the, the title alone, just Black Lives Matter, I think, like, that scene in Malcolm X where, like, it was a movie or whatever. We, somebody asked, it was a white girl. She asked, oh, can I join the movement? He turned her away like, no. I mean, at that standpoint in his mind and where he was at in his life, that was wrong. But at the same time, it's like, well, how can you, you know, say that you're a part of something? It's like, well, you know, the title alone is dividing people. You know what I mean? Like, when you say, like, black lives, you're not black, so you can't identify with it. But you can identify, like, all right, well, I stand for this. But... The title alone is like, well, how, how can you say you're this when you're that? Or like me saying like, oh, well, Chinese martial arts is mine. It's like, I'm not Chinese. <laughs> you got what I'm saying? So I can't claim it. But at the same time, it's like, well, I can support like the philosophy or what people are standing for. So, I mean, I, I see, like you said, the, it, the deeper meaning, like you said, like it could trickle down. But the title alone, I, I see how people have uneasy feelings just on titles, you know. Yeah, I mean, like... I could, when you make the, the comparison to the Chinese martial arts, it really, to me, it's very similar. Like, you are in the school that right. I'm trying to promote the Chinese martial arts, and it's not that you can't claim that because I gave you the right to claim it because I'm the one who's basically right. running it. Right. So it's like somebody that's running this Black Lives Matter, the movement, I don't know his name, but say, say it was Malcolm X. Right. But in, in, a, in a different, uh, from a more enlightened standpoint, the right. Malcolm X back then is like, you know, if you're not black, then you can't. You can't be a he part was, of He was movement. clearly wrong for you that, know, yeah. But then the new Malcolm X could be like, you know, no, anybody of all races could help in this movement because right. it's not just about blacks. It's about, you know, just humanity. basically... <laughs> yeah, it's about humanity in general. But you see, I've seen, you know, people have the things on the lawn, Black Lives Matter, and I, I, white, white families have it on their lawns too. Right. So there's people that are white that are supporting it. There's people, obviously the blacks, and then there's other minority groups as well. So, when the organizer of this movement is allowing all races to, you know, to, to basically get involved, to fight against, basically fighting against corruption, then, like, I see, like, it's bringing people together. But the, the, as in anything, any label, there's always going to be, um, there's always going to be, opposition. <laughs> you know, there's always going to be um, problems with labeling things because you're already, like, that's not the truth. But, I, you know, the overall theme of it, it could just be, like, people that are fighting against corruption, you know. And it, it has to start somewhere. Because even when I was the police, like, I went through, like, a lot of racial discrimination. But I was, like, only the second police, Asian police officer to ever work there. So I was, like, basically, I had to basically, um, I didn't really have people on my side because there weren't enough Asians. But the blacks went through that before I got there and there's like more of them 
that were basically able to fight back with more power because there was a larger groups. Right, strength so in then, numbers. Yeah, so then basically, if something was said to a black person, a black officer, he would be able, he'd have more power to fight back because he had other people backing him. Right. But because I got discriminated against, there was nobody backing me because there wasn't enough Asians there. But it was the blacks. First, it was like all white the police department, and then they, they hired some blacks, and the blacks got more more blacks in there. And then they're like, okay, now let's hire a few Asians. But then the Asians were still weak compared to the blacks. Right. Because there was just not numbers. Enough, enough numbers. Yeah. So, like, it goes back to what I'm saying is that the movement has to start somewhere. And then when people realize that, hey, you know, it's not right for the corrupted authority to treat black people this way, then it should automatically click that not just black people, but all people, you know, there is not right because I mean you see I've seen articles where there's white people that are getting, you know, um, corrupted, you know, victims of corruption from the police. Yeah. Like that recent one, um, where that autistic kid got shot and killed. It was yeah, yeah, I, I think it was, it was a white, a white father and a white child, and then the, the officers were actually black. Two of them. Oh, they, see, and that, they, I ain't hear about yeah, that. Yeah, they ended up uh, shooting and killing the the autistic six year old child. And then they you wounded the, the father. Yeah, they wounded the father, and then they both got charged with murder. So the, in that case, it was two black officers, and then like a white man, and then a white child. So then that clearly is injustice. Yeah. It's corruption. Yeah. And that's what we need to fight against, you know, in general. But it's kind of hard to gather up a movement if you don't have some type of focus. True. And that's why I think they're saying... Black Lives Matter, because it's like for me saying, well, this is all martial arts school. I can't, there's no focus. What is this, Japanese, this is Korean, this is Chinese, this is American, this is German, this is, what is this, everything French too? You know what I'm <laughs> saying? <a> French. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, this is all martial arts? Like, no, it can't, there's no focus. So then I had to choose Chinese, you know, we're promoting the Chinese martial arts. Not disrespecting anybody else, it was like, this is what we do. <laughs> yeah, like, this is what the focus, I, I chose to lead this, and it's going to be promoting the Chinese culture. Doesn't mean that other cultures can't be promoted within this school, because, right. I mean, you see Shazay coming in here with the drumming, and the African, and drumming, and then most of my students happen to be black, I only got one Chinese student, you know what I'm saying, other than the people within my family. So it's like promoting all cultures, but then the label has to be chosen, which is Kung right. Fu. And in a way, that's what I see the Black Lives Matter is doing, is they need to choose a label, but it doesn't mean that they're limited by that label. It right. doesn't mean that, hey, you know, other people, it's okay for other lives to die except for ours. But I don't, you know... Well, it's it, not it, even saying that, it's just saying Black Lives Matter. It's like, hey, these lives matter. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, other lives matter as well, but... You know, I mean, even psychologically, just hearing something like that over and over again, that can just change the framework of just people in the streets. Like, you know what? Let me not fight even black on black violence. Like, you know what? Black lives do matter. I'm not going to fight with my, you know, quote unquote, brother over something yeah. petty. <laughs> just on the language. I'm Cause, sorry. Because what I also noticed is that the, the black movement, they've gotten a lot more power. I mean, look at the, the president. He's black, you know? Yeah. And then the people that are running for the next presidency, there's some... So yeah, ben Carson, I, yeah. I had a book on him when I was a kid, uh, orthopedic surgeon, yeah, pediatric surgeon, my fault. Yeah, <laughs> so even he's running, and then even the, even a woman's running now, right. and it's like the blacks have like a lot more power now. I mean, even that there's a football team where in some of the, one of the universities, one of the, um, the, you know, the president didn't like the way that he handled some racial issue, and the whole football team went on strike, and then they got him fired. Yeah. You know, so in, in the police department that I used to work at, the black officers had a lot more power than they ever used to. You know, so it's almost like you got the white authority that's in power and the blacks are moving up there. And then the other minorities, like the Hispanics and the Asians, they're just kind of still down here. You know, they get more discriminated against and all that. But no, they do. I mean, it's blatant, you know, with the language barrier, of course, then of course, well, we're not going to get into all that. But yes, they get discriminated against. Still, <laughs> you yeah. know, just being underrepresented. I'm not going to say misrepresented, just underrepresented. Nobody's speaking out for them. Yeah. Because, I mean, you got, um, you got that, um, the whole thing I told about the Hispanic situation where it didn't really get much press. Yeah. And you got this Asian, I remember this article about this Asian guy that was in the military and he was getting harassed and bullied and he ended up committing suicide because of that. 
you know, but that didn't get too much press either, you know, because he's Asian. Yeah. If he was black, it probably would have got a lot more press. So basically what I'm saying is that, like, the blacks are getting a lot more press. When, when you do something wrong to a black, you got to be a lot more careful. Right. But if these these officers, these corrupted officers did something wrong to an Asian person, they don't have to worry too much. You're not going to hear about it. Yeah, you're not going <laughs> to hear about it because there's not going to be any Asian communities coming up and fighting against the corrupted authority the way the blacks are. It's like it's in it's almost like in the blood the the blood of the blacks to fight back like in that way through protest. Right. Asians aren't like that. They're not. You well, don't see no Asian here. Malcolm X or nothing like that. Well, he's not here. I mean, I don't know how it is like in you know certain parts of Asia because I remember you telling me we was having a conversation. You're like, hey, you asked me what I thought of protests, and I'm like, certain forms of protests and what you protest and against like sometimes it's counterintuitive or it's counterproductive. But you're like, hey, there was some protesting, I guess it was in China somewhere, and you're yeah, like, yeah. it worked, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, even Gandhi, I mean, technically he would be Asian, and a lot of what Martin Luther King learned was from Gandhi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right about that. I mean, that's true, you know. It's just that in America, you don't see it. Yeah, yeah, you you're absolutely right. <laughs> you know, but, but Gandhi is one of the biggest ones, when you bring up that example, where he did, you know, made, made, gather up a lot of people to protest something. So I'm all about the protesting. I think the protesting, it really does help to make some change, you know. But it's got to be the right way. Yeah, when I, when I say protesting, and I'm not trying to bash him, I love him, brother. I've actually seen him protest. It's Al Sharpton. Because, like, hey, man, you can't, you got to pick and choose your battles. Like, with protesting and all that stuff. Like, when you, like you said, you got to pinpoint something. Sometimes I feel like, man, like, my brother, I, I love him and all that, but he, he fights the wrong battles. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> you know much about him. Okay, I mean, if you read him up, I mean, he's been around for years. He's respected. I respect him. But, like you said, it's like you got a pinpoint thing with the Black Lives Matter thing. We can talk about it. You can instantly identify it. Even if you don't know much about it, you know something. Yeah. With Al Sharpton, he's, he's fought. He's beat the block. But it's like, man, you can't beat the block for everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, with Barack Obama, I respect him. He has my admiration. I don't idolize him. But we've got more people... Black people getting shot and they're being put out in the press now than we probably did when I was younger. I mean, we had, had um, you know, it's always been violence, but it hasn't been reported as much. And I really feel like even he needs to, he, I feel Al Sharpton is doing too much and I feel Obama isn't really doing enough when it comes to those issues, but that's something else. <laughs> yeah. But I do see he's getting a lot of gray hair, so he's doing something. <laughs> he's doing something. <laughs> But he's probably, he's got so many other duties True. that he's he, he can't. He's the that, president of the United States. Yeah, he's not. doing so many different <laughs> things that this guy is probably the Sharpton guy. Probably his main thing is protests, right? And you know, civil rights maybe. But for Barack, it's just like everything's falling on him, like from all angles. So I'm not surprised that he that he doesn't take you know that he's not doing as much in certain areas, right? You know, that was good. Went too long, was it?